Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Now, I'm really excited for today's video because I've been wanting to do this for quite some time now, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do a video dedicating to painting watercolor eyes. So, this is where I drew these two last night. I would say these are hyper-realism a little bit, um, all the way, I don't know, but, um, I was mainly trying, hyper-realism is basically based off of highlights and the contrast, and I was trying to get that in, um, these drawings of eyes right here. Uh, so I'm using these watercolors, uh, right here, taking notes, um, these watercolors. I'm not, I forget what the name is of these watercolors, but I love these. I've been using them ever since Christmas. And I was thinking to myself last night, um, you know, I wonder if I could do real with them watercolor. Because I've been doing Mermaid, and I finished Mermaid. You guys will be seeing a video of um, all my Mermaid drawings, or I mean, some of them, not all of them, but because there's 30 of them will be here for like quite some time if I did all 30. Um, but for today's video, I thought I'm going to try go back to reload them a little bit and stylize kind of um, realistic eyes, watercolors. So uh, for this one, I think it was this one that I had uh, covered the whole eye with watercolor skin tone. Um, and I made the mistake of doing that. Now, if I had masking fluid or something like that, that would help prevent that. Um, you know, it would have worked out. But I, in the end, it worked out fine. I think this is the best one yet. Um, I don't think these three, um, they have more detail because it is the first one. Um, but I'm pretty happy with all of them. Um, so, I mean, I can't ask for more. But anyways, I'm pretty happy with these. Uh, if you like what you see here, no pen intended, why not subscribe down below and turn your notification bell on so you won't miss a next video. And I'm liking so far of uh, my new recording schedule of skipping Tuesday and then posting this video on Wednesday. Um, I'm liking that because I can focus on this video on Tuesday. Um, so if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. And turn the notification bell on so you won't miss the video, and I'll let you guys watch the rest of the video. Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's video. I have to set up pretty quickly because we have a lot of eyes to get through today for this video. It's not necessarily a tutorial video, it's just how I paint eyes. And I wanted to say quickly, I am using pen and ink for this, uh, the drawing of eyes along with watercolor. And you can tell there, at first I had made a mistake of covering the whole thing with eye. If I had masking fluid, it would have taken care of it, but... I don't have any masking fluid, so I might have to get some on Sunday, but, um, yeah, so I was having a lot of fun with these eyes, as you see here, and it was just so cool how I can still do semi-hyperrealism a little bit with the watercolor layering the techniques and everything, and I'm just having a lot of fun, uh, with painting and bringing realism into watercolor because, you know, at first, I was very hesitant in doing so, and very, okay, let's see what I can do. And I followed a few tutorials, and I'm really happy where I am now, and um, being able to improve on watercolor. The key to watercolor color as in any medium you use is layering. Um, I know it's a redundant, repeated uh, thing that you see throughout the art community on YouTube, but layering is really important and layering with the full point pen, you know, is also important too. But, you know, let's focus on watercolor here. So I just wanted to share some tips. You saw me do a light wash over the eye and I've been doing that. And usually I would leave the iris and the, um, what if the iris and the, the Clara, uh, the white part of the eye, white, but... 
you know, in reality, yes, you know, hyperrealism wants those highlights and the eyes and everything, and you want to have the white of the eye, but in reality, the white of the eye is not really white, it's gray. And I went in later on in the video with, with the white gel pen to bring out the white highlights and the, the clara and everything. Like you see here, perfect timing, am I right? So here, finishing touches, and now we're going on to the next eye, I believe. And soon after I, well, actually, we're still working on this eye. So, um, for this being said, it's like sometimes when you struggle and try to break through of what you're trying to learn, it's always helpful to go back and watch tutorials and try to understand it. Skillshare is awesome. I highly recommend Skillshare for that. Some of you have been asking me the cost of Skillshare and uh, how to get it, but it's, I think it's like $10 a month. I'm not really sure. I could be completely wrong. Don't, you know, um, I mean, it's not sponsored video by any means, and uh, I just wanted to clarify that a little bit. So, um, I really don't have much else to say here. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and let me know if you like my recording schedule. I kind of like it because I can bring these effects and take the time to make the effects to my videos. Um, so I hope that it will be helpful for you guys and not just to ramble on about my recording schedule because I've already done that and yesterday or the day before yesterday's video, but you know, this is I number two, I believe, that we're on now. So, uh, I might have gotten my transitions, need to work on that a little bit more, but that's not the point of the video, so I want to go ahead and put speed music on the rest of it, and you guys can sit back, relax, do it with some eyes along with me, or what have you, and thank you for watching. Bye, guys.